Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about single finance and more specifically about the single finance leveraged yield farming. Now, I've been speaking with the guys over at Single Finance for a couple of months now, way before this platform was launched, and I've been trying to get my head around the actual uh, mechanics of the Single Finance Leverage Yield Farming platform. So in this video, we're gonna go through the platform itself, we're gonna take a look at the white paper, and then I'm gonna put some money into the Leverage Yield Farm, and see what it's all about. Now this is a sponsored video from Single Finance, so I wanna thank the guys over at Single for helping support this channel. With that being said, let's jump on over to the computer and see what the Leverage Yield Farming is all about. So here we are on the Single Finance website and we can see the first heading that jumps out at us is Capital Protected Yield Farming. Capital Protected sounds like a great thing to have in place. Single click pseudo market neutral strategy with a human touch. What on earth is single click pseudo market neutral strategy? I don't know, but we're going to find out in this video. Now, there's some buttons here to launch the app and the LP time machine. I did speak about the LP time machine in my last video on single finance. If we just take a quick look, we can see what it is. It's basically performance analytics of liquidity pools across chains and it's a historical performance tracker. So basically, it gives you um, liquidity pool earning metrics for um, months and years previously so you can see what's kind of happened there including any impermanent loss with those liquidity pairs so you can kind of get a rough idea of what might happen in the future now obviously we can't predict the future even if we've got historical data but it can give us some kind of indication so that is kind of a innovative innovative new feature on single finance now scrolling back up to the top here, we can see that the company is backed by world-class partners, including VVS and MMF, some that you might be familiar with. Then we can see why um, Single Finance is offering this neutral strategy. Basically, you can't predict the PNL. You can work out square roots and run simulations in your head, taking into account in permanent loss and borrowing interest too. You don't know past performance. We all define our past differently. In most decks, it's 24 seven trading fee only, and we want more. How about a full breakdown, including price impact? So that's where the um, time machine comes into play. We don't know the real APY. The APY is never your APY. It's not calculated from the day you make your investment. How much are you actually earning? And we can see that with this single click pseudo market neutral strategy, single finance is a super intuitive platform to roll your DeFi investments, minimizing correlations to the general market. Everything here is worked out from your injected capital in USD. Everything is visualized and everything is within your fingertips. So basically what they're saying is with one click or a single click, little play on words there with the uh, single finance name, but with a single click, Everything is done for you. You can stake into liquidity pools, but not only can you stake into liquidity pools, you can stake and you can also leverage, which means you could borrow money against your original stake. And we'll get to that shortly. So if we have a quick look at the documentation here, and we can see um, a step-by-step -step guide, basically all the little options here of what you can read in the white paper. We're gonna take a quick look at the pseudo market neutral strategy and see what this is. Now, as the name suggests, is a useful strategy that can be implemented with a single click and the mouse. We aim to provide various useful single click strategies with the first single click strategy being the pseudo market neutral strategy. And what is the pseudo market neutral strategy? The primary goal of this strategy is simple, to help both new and experienced farmers earn high yields without suffering too much in permanent loss or being liquidated in a flash. Single finance users can simply supply assets and enjoy our pseudo market neutral liquidity mining strategy with just a single click. It aims to achieve the highest possible return while minimizing the impact of impermanent loss by borrowing a certain amount of non-stable coin assets. So taking a look at the mechanics of pseudo market neutral strategy, I'm not gonna read through all of this because it would probably bore you to death listening to my Mancunian accent reading through everything here. 
What I will take a look at is what are long and short. So basically a long position refers to the purchase of an asset with the expectation that it will increase in value. The more the asset appreciates, the more the position gains. Whereas a short position refers to the investment that bets on the value of an asset dropping. The more the asset depreciates, the more the position gains. So if you're investing into a stock or a cryptocurrency and you're betting that that stock will go down, if it does go down, then you will obviously win. And if it goes up, then you will lose. And the opposite being said for shorting a position. There's an example here of short selling. I won't read through it, but read through this in your own time so you can get more of an understanding of what shorting actually is. Then we come on to what is market neutral position. So we've got shorting, which is betting that a stock or currency will go down. And we've got going long, which is betting that it will go up. And then we've got this neutral position, which is as it says, taking a neutral position, you're not betting either way. So there's some examples here of how to deploy the um, pseudo market neutral strategy, how to deploy a strategy that's going to go short and how to deploy a strategy that's going to go long. We'll come back to this example shortly, but before we do, I just want to take a look at the app so we can see um, how it might work in principle. So as we can see across the top, we've got these menu items, strategy, farm, lending, lock, staking, LP, time machine. And we've got the same options down the side here. So we can add various strategies and farms. Now these strategies here are basically the single click um, pseudo market neutral strategies that we spoke about. So basically you would just choose your leverage amount and click single click and everything will be taken care of for you. Now, if you're not familiar with leveraging, basically leveraging is just borrowing more money on top of your initial deposit. So let's say you've only got, I don't know, $50 in your wallet and um, you wanna invest more than that, you can actually leverage your investment, which means you would borrow on top of your initial investment. So if you did three times, for example, you put your original $50 in, you would be borrowing another two times that, so you'd have $150 in total, um, which is $50 plus $100 you borrowed, so it's three times your original investment. So that's kind of how leveraging works. Now with um, single finance, the default um, leverage is 3x, so three times your initial stake. A lot of these other um, leveraging sites, they will put your, um, default leveraging amount to 20 times, 25 times, ridiculous amounts, which is going to liquidate you pretty quickly. Single finance are much more um, sensible and they don't want to liquidate you um, in an instant like that. So they'll default to three times. Now you can change this um, to less if you want. Three is the maximum at the moment on here, which in my opinion, is more than enough to be borrowing on top of your initial asset. You don't want to be borrowing too much um, because that's just reckless, really, in my humble opinion. Um, so these, like I say, these are the um, single click pseudo market neutral strategies. It's a one click um, event. Now, if we click on farm up here so we can just see this in a little bit more detail, what you could do if you wanted to leverage your stake into these farms. We'll scroll down to VVS, uh, sorry, CRO and USDC because I know I've got some of this in my wallet. We'll drop this down to one times at the moment just so we can see based on um, putting an amount into the farm without actually leveraging and without borrowing. And we'll click on farm here. Now I know I've got 50 USDC in my wallet at the moment, so I'll put 50 USDC in here as an example. And I'll drop this back down, it's changed, but I'll drop it back down to one times. So we can see here that like any other liquidity pool, if you've um, put money into liquidity pools before, you might have done it on VBS or you might have done it on MMF. But basically when you provide liquidity, you need to put an equal amount of each token in. So you're providing two tokens and an equal amount of each. So if I put 50 USDC into here, it's gonna split my $50 USDC into both um, CRO and USDC. So we can see here that the asset supplied is 50 USDC. I haven't borrowed anything here because I'm not leveraging. 
and my total position is 25 USDC and 53.32 CRO, which is basically $25 worth. So it's splitting my asset into both of those tokens. Now, if I wanted to borrow on top of that, so if I only had $50 and I wanted to put more than $50 in, then I could up this, say, to two times, and basically I would be putting my $50 in and I would be borrowing an additional $50. So we can see down here now I've got assets supplied $50, assets borrowed $50 down at the bottom here, and then I've got a total position of $100. I, mean, I know they slightly up, so it's just rounded them up, but basically, it's, it's doubling it in effect. So my initial assets is 50 and I borrowed 50, so the total is 100. Again, it's split it into equal amounts. So there's 50 USDC and $50 worth of CRO. And then obviously I could click enable and that would be staked into that liquidity pool. And again, I can up this to two and a half times or three times, which would mean I would be borrowing $100 and my total position would be 151. Now, obviously, when you're borrowing money on top of your original asset, then there will be interest to pay back. So you can see here the borrowing interest is 23.55 on CRO and 10.93 on USDC, which means once you make some money, assuming that you do make some money, then you will have to pay back anything that you borrowed and then what's left over would be yours in profit. Now we don't have to just put in to USDC, we could put an equal amount of each in here if we've got an equal amount of each, um, or we can just provide one depending on what we've got in our wallet. Similarly, we can change down here the amount we borrow and which token we borrow in. So if we um, borrow more in CRO and less in USDC, then this is when we're gonna be looking at long and short positions. I'm not gonna go that into too much detail here. You can see that in the um, example here. This will show you, um, if you are leveraging, this will show you here the neutral strategy where it kind of puts an equal amount into both. This will show if you're going to go short on CRO, and this will show an example if you're gonna go long, but that's if you're taking advantage of these um, manual farms here and you put in the, you know, you're breaking this down yourself and you want to actually long go long or short on CRO. We're not gonna go into that because the whole point of this video is looking at the um, pseudo market neutral strategy. So that's these options here. And like I say, it's basically a, a case of single click. So I'm gonna single click on the USDC CRO because I have got um, both of these tokens in my wallet. I've got some in, um, some of, some of each of these tokens in my wallet. Now up here we can see that I'm currently connected. I'll just disconnect that so you can see that you can either connect your crypto.com DeFi wallet if you're, if you're a crypto.com user or you can connect your MetaMask. I'm gonna use MetaMask in this example because I've got tokens in my MetaMask. So as we can see here on the supply tokens, it does say that I need to supply at least 200 USDC. Now I know I've not got that in my wallet, I've only got $50, so even if I try and put 200 in there, it's just gonna to default to 50. But it will show us down here how it's splitting that up, so it's kind of providing liquidity over here of um, CRO and USDC. Now it's putting it at three times leverage, which means our capital is $50, which is what I'm putting in up here. We're borrowing um, two times that, which is $100. So our total position is $150. We can see that we've got a protection um, of our capital set at 85%. Now we can change this to 90 if we want, which means you know we're, we're protected even further. I'll leave it at the default 85%. That means if we've got a um, capital protection of 85%, it means we've got a stop loss basically of 15%. So if this swings either way by 15%, then we will um, our position will be automatically closed. So what that means is because we've got a capital protection ratio of 85%, it means we can't lose any more than um, seven or eight dollars. So we're guaranteed to get back $42.68 of our initial investment. Now, obviously, because we can't put $50 in, it's got to be $200 minimum. This would be higher, but it's just it's showing you what that those ratios are. 
We've got an APR breakdown here. These APRs are really good at the moment. 44.89% for yield farming, 11.05 for liquidity pool rewards, 70.31 single rewards. This borrowing interest here, so this is basically the interest we would be paying on any um, debt we've got. So if we're leveraging, then we'll be paying interest on both the USDC and CRO. Now this is currently 4.587% for USDC and 30.16% for CRO. This position is gonna be open for 30 days. Now we can set this to whatever we want, 90 days, 180, 365, or anything in between. What this means is that that position will be open for at least, um, for a maximum of 30 days, but it could be closed sooner if we manually close our position ourselves or if this stop loss kicks in the position will then be closed. And this obviously presents, uh, prevents you from being liquidated once you reach, reach these stop losses. And I think that's just a really good feature. So, you know, you're guaranteed to get back at least 85% of your initial investment. So that's kind of how the single click um, neutral strategy works. I think it's a really, really great um, feature on the single finance website because like I say, you don't have to really do anything. You can kind of stake, you're putting money into the liquidity pool, but you're also taking advantage of leveraging and um, shorting and going long on these tokens. So there is a good potential to make a lot of money by doing virtually nothing. So it is worthwhile looking into this, I think. Um, something else on the single finance website that I think is worth looking into is this lending option here. Now, again, these um, APYs are really, really good at the moment. Um, what we can do with this is we can basically deposit tokens into any of these um, tokens here. So single, CRO, USDC, VVS. And once we deposit, say we deposit single, for example, then we'll get some IB single in return. And then basically they will be earning yield on those um, state tokens. And again, these are really good APRs, uh, APY, sorry, at the moment, 24.49%, uh, 24.43, 20.86 and 126 on VVS. So if you've got any of these tokens lying about, then you can put them into these lending pools and potentially earn some decent rewards there as well. And then of course, we've got the LP time machine, which is always worth checking out just so you can get an idea of what's happened historically. So overall, like I say, single finance are doing some really, really great things. Now there's lots and lots to take in here. This is a, this is a steep learning curve, I'll be honest with you. I don't fully understand all of the dynamics that's going on here. It will take a lot more than a couple of read through the white paper to understand things. But like I say, if you take advantage of the single click um, neutral market strategies, then there's, you know, there's not a great deal you need to do. It's just a case of staking your money and sitting back and watching the rewards roll in. So one other thing I want to share with you guys is this new arbitrage strategy here that I found on medium.com. This was an article written by Brenda Richardson a couple of weeks ago. And basically you can just utilize your USDC to earn up to 69.14% APY in three steps. Basically the two platforms used are Tectonic and Single Finance, but Mias Finance is a good alternative if Tectonic borrowing pool is fully utilized. Now this is quite a long winded um, strategy, not something I've done or have the time to do at the moment while trying to get these YouTube videos out and also trying to set up a Discord server and know nothing about Discord. So trying to get that fully functional is a bit of a nightmare. Um, which reminds me, if you're not on my Discord server, then come and join us. The link is down below. Um, got lots of new members coming in every day and, you know, people sharing information on new DeFi projects and staking opportunities and all those other good things and sharing other tools and other projects. And also I've got some good giveaways going on all of the time, giving away either whitelist spots or free tokens or other free cash type um, giveaways. So come and join us on Discord. But anyway, getting back to this strategy, um, like I say, it's quite um, thorough, but if you've got the time and the inclination and the patience and the available funds, then it could be worthwhile. Um, like I say, you can earn up to 69.14% APY. Um, but I've not done this myself. So if you do use this strategy and 
you know, you make some money, then leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you use it and you don't make any money, then also let me know and I'll go and find Brenda Richardson and give her a chop for wasting my time and your time and everyone else's time. But, you know, it could be a viable way of making some decent money. So like I say, read through it in your own time and let me know what you think. That's kind of it guys. That's kind of an overview of single finance and the neutral strategies. There's loads going on over there. There's lots and lots of information to take on board. Um, make sure you read through the white papers. You know, if you're gonna stake, then unless you know what you're doing, then I would definitely use the one-click strategies. Um, the manual staking options, you know, are much more complicated and you know you've got to set those parameters yourself but if you're looking at getting into that and going long or going short on on these um, tokens then you could potentially make a lot more money but even with the single click um, strategies you can make some really good APRs it's kind of a stake and forget process I have not put into this yet because as you've seen in the example here, I didn't have enough USDC in my wallet to actually go through with that process. But I will, after this video, I'll probably move those um, coins over there and, I'll, and I'll, I'll stake $200 and I'll come back to this in a couple of weeks and let you know how I got on with that. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And if you didn't find it useful, then also leave a comment down below. Any feedback is good. It lets me know what I'm doing right and what I'm not doing right. And it helps me adjust my um, process for YouTube. Anyway, thanks for watching and take care, guys. I'll see you soon.